Hello and welcome to your Southeast Idaho Weather Hazard Brief. Today is Thursday, the 29th of November. We'll start off your briefing by looking at the satellite and radar imagery from early this morning. We do have an upper low situated off the California coastline, which is right about here, offshore California. It is uh, producing um, moisture across California at the moment and will be headed our way um, later this evening. Uh, right now, though, I'll skip ahead a couple of frames and show you what is currently happening on our radar loop. See all the moisture across uh, California and working its way toward Nevada and Oregon and uh, will be headed our way later this evening. Now, we do have um, small amounts of uh, isolated rain and snow showers across southeast Idaho early this morning, which will be the cause for a small area of snow showers across the Island Park area and the Upper Snake Highlands early this morning, and that will be the only area of any um, concern for any shower activity early this morning. However, that will be changing as we go through the day, so I'll try to get this out of the way. We are expecting an increase in the snow uh, shower coverage as we head toward the late evening hours. Uh, here's a look at uh, what you need to know for the timeline of that anticipated activity. So the light snow is expected to arrive um, and start spreading from south to north. So it will be arriving along the Utah-Idaho border uh, later this evening um, between the 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. hour, and then spreading northward, um, impacting Pocatello, Idaho Falls, and the Wood River area, including Haley and Ketchum, uh, later this evening. That snow will continue throughout the nighttime hours um, and start to accumulate on those mountain passes. At times, the snow will be heavy, um, and that will uh, generally be impacting the southern portions of our forecast area that include the Sweet Through Summit, Malad Pass, and the areas uh, including the Bear Lake region. That's not to say that it won't continue snowing across the rest of southeast Idaho, but those accumulations will be lighter. As we head toward Friday morning, the snow showers are expected to persist, um, but these snow showers are also going to continue to be light uh, and not accumulate uh, as much as they will be um, as as they will be uh, during the nighttime hours. And then going toward late Friday, gradual improvement is expected in the snowfall intensity. So breaking that down a little bit. We'll look at the 3 p.m. forecast hour on Thursday, uh, later this afternoon. Um, here's the onset time of the precip entering along the, um, the border of Utah and, and Idaho. Now, some of this will be um, a rain-snow mix, so we see some rain across the Magic Valley area. And then that spreads to the north, and we see mostly snow showers across um, our area. Um, there may be some still hints of rain across the Eastern Magic Valley, but for the most part, we have now transitioned over to snow by midnight. I wanted to show a couple graphics on um, the probability of snowfall accumulations. So this is the start of that particular graphic. So what is the probability of getting two inches of more of snowfall at this point, which is midnight tonight? So probability of uh, southeast Idaho getting more than two inches, well, for the most part, we haven't really started to accumulate much snow yet. So we're in that 50% or less chance of accumulating two inches. Headed toward Friday, Friday afternoon. Um, so our low is going to be uh, passing over and through Idaho at this point. So we're just basically in a continuous uh, plume of moisture here. So our low is going to be spinning over us. We're going to be seeing uh, light snow showers throughout the day across the area. So uh, that said, what's our chances for uh, more than two inches of snow at this point, which is midday Friday? While our chances have increased now, we'll be seeing some accumulation on the roadways, and those chances are greatest 
uh, south and east of the interstate corridor. So uh, these uh, this reddish color here are it's the area that is favored for accumulating snow. By later Friday, we start to see the um, the snow starting to taper off, but it is lingering a little bit uh, north and uh, east of Idaho Falls, including Rexburg Island Park, and then the Chalice area as well in portions of the Central Mountains. And the accumulating snow has continued at that hour as well in the same areas south and east of the Interstate Corridor. Okay, with all that said, how much snow are we actually forecasting? Well, uh, just like we, what we have mentioned, south and east of the interstate corridor is where we are forecasting the most snow, and that is on uh, the mountain peaks. So we're over six inches on those mountain tops. Uh, areas favored are Immigration Pass, Geneva Pass, uh, Fish Creek Summit. Uh, these, uh, these mountain passes are favored for snowfall during this particular event. Across the Snake River Plain, we're anywhere between the one and two inch range. A couple areas may see three inches of snowfall. That includes Rexburg and Idaho Falls. Um, and then uh, Teton Valley is also favored for, for um, heavier amounts of snow. Uh, looking a little bit ahead toward the weekend, we do have um, some additional uh, snow and rainfall forecast for Saturday and Sunday, but this is not an active, as active of a system as uh, this one, this Thursday-Friday system. So just some general uh, precip uh, across our area for the weekend. Okay, so that will end our uh, briefing for this morning. If you have any questions or concerns, please do give us a call or you may send us an email and we will get back to you with an answer. Thank you for watching.